Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the multidimensional arrays in C++. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about the arrays or the single dimensional arrays. An array is nothing but the collection of similar elements. And in the last tutorial, we had an example of marks. We were storing the mark of a student in the array. And what if we want to store the marks of two students at that time you know what we can do is we can create two arrays separately and use them or we can create one multi-dimensional array so a multi-dimensional array is nothing but an array inside another array for example if you guys want to store the marks of another student we're gonna create another array here and we're gonna call this array as the marks and uh, as you guys can see here this looks like a table so we have two rows and six columns so the first row is gonna contain the marks of the first student and the second row is gonna contain the marks of the second student so this is a two-dimensional array to declare this we're gonna use marks then the square bracket and another square bracket so in this first square bracket we're gonna specify the rows let's say x and in the second square bracket we're gonna specify the columns y so now if we see this and compare it to the table here we have x rows and y columns and in C++ we can create two dimensional, three dimensional, you know, similarly we can create n dimensional of arrays. So this two dimensional array is very easy to use comparing to the three dimensional or the four dimensional arrays. All right, now we're gonna see an example. So in this tutorial, just for the demonstration purpose, we're gonna store the marks of two students in a two dimensional array and uh, we're gonna create that array right now. So it's gonna be int, which is the type of data stored in our array. And then the array name, I'm gonna call it as marks. And then we need to use two square brackets. And in the first square bracket, we're gonna specify how many rows we want or you know how many number of students data or the marks we're gonna store is, and that's why it's gonna be two. And next, how many elements will be present in that each individual array. So here we have two arrays one for the first student and another one is for the second student and here we're going to specify how many elements we want in each of that arrays we want to store six values you know the marks of six subjects that's why it's going to be six here and then a semicolon so this is the declaration of a two-dimensional array now if you guys want to initialize this two dimensional array right here you know when you declare it then you guys need to write equal to the assignment operator then the curly braces i'm gonna align it such so that you know it will be very easy to understand and uh, here we need to specify each array elements separately so i'm gonna use another pair of curly braces and add a comma and another pair i think we got more here all right now it's proper so here we are initializing the values for our multi-dimensional or the two-dimensional array marks so in this first pair of curly braces we're gonna write the values of the first student so let's say 35 45 85 95 75 and 25 and in the next or the second pair of curly braces we're gonna write the marks of the second student let's say 78 98 62 41 36 64 so now we have a two-dimensional array marks which is containing the marks of two students so the next thing is how to access the elements stored in this two-dimensional array it's very similar to accessing the values of a single dimensional array. So first we need to write the array name. It's gonna be marks and then the index. 
whether we want to access the marks of the first student or whether we want to access the values of the first array or whether we want to access the value of this second array here we want to access the value of the first array and all of you know that the first item will be present in the zeroth index that's why i'm gonna write zero here and again the next square bracket which is used to access which element you want to access in that array here i want to access this third element and this third element is present in the second index 0 1 2 that's why i'm gonna write 2 here and let's add the semicolon that's it let me see whether i can draw this all right now these are the two arrays that we have you know the first one and the second one the first array is containing the marks of the first student and the second array is containing the marks of the second student so the first array is present at the position zero of this multi-dimensional or the two-dimensional array marks and the second array is present at the position one or the index one so these are the marks or the elements stored in this first array so here the first element is present in the zeroth index of the first array and uh, similarly the last element is present at the fifth index and for the second array also the first element 78 is present in zeroth index and the last element is present at the fifth index if i wanted to access the mark of this first student and uh, third subject this one and this first student's marks is present in the zeroth index that's why first i need to write the array name here marks and which array first array because i want to access the marks of the first student the index is zero and then which element i want or which subjects mark i want i want the third subjects mark which is present in the second index zero one two that's it all right now uh, we're going to use a c out here and just print it out i'm going to build and run this so you guys can see we got 85 and the next thing is while initializing the multi-dimensional array in c you should specify these dimensions here and if you want to initialize these arrays not while defining it to do that uh, you need to write the marks then the which array the first one and then you know the dimensions which we used just like here and uh, assignment operator and the value let's say zero and two all right i'm gonna save it build and run 10 so this is it guys this is about some information on the multi-dimensional or the two-dimensional arrays in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial